Imagine a world where you get hundreds of customers and clients a week or even per day without cost and without running ads, social media or a blog. The answer is called cold outreach. But how on earth can you do outreach with no cost? Exactly. You sit down and write or call one company after the other. And this is absolutely painful. Nobody wants to do that and nobody should do that either. So what is the cure to this dilemma? The cure lies in automating this process. But why do you want to outreach anyway? And is it any good? Nowadays, Hundreds of thousands of people do cold outreach and write cold email. And yes, in most countries, it is even illegal to do that. Calling them by a phone is the only form which is allowed for outreach. Or you knock on their door and ask them directly. The truth is nobody wants to get called by a call center or have some random person standing at their door and get distracted during their work. The best answer you can get is, I don't have time for that now, just write me an email. And there you are again, write an email. So we know nobody wants to be called during work and nobody wants to hear your pitch on the phone or at their doorsteps. So email is your best friend and an outreach system sends these cold emails for you fully automated. The problem is, where do you get the email addresses to send emails? Picking them by hand takes too much time and buying them gets expensive quite quickly. So what can you do? Right, scrape the web. If you don't know what web scraping is, here is the short answer. You build a bot which searches the web for you and finds certain answers quickly and fully automated. And in this case, we want to find emails from websites within our target audience to send outreach to. Okay, great. If you are still listening and if you want to know more about this, stick to this video and I will show you how to build your own no-code web scraping tool to get you endless emails almost for free. Let me show you what you get if you stick to this tutorial. We're building a web scraper with two tools, Google Sheets and Notemation, also known as N8N. Google Sheets is completely free. You only need a Google account for it and N8N is available as cloud version or you install it on your own server. If you want to know how to install N8N on your own server, watch this video. And if you want to simply use N8N, you can create your account at their website. It would be amazing if you could use our affiliate link to get there. The link is hartmut.io slash N8N. You will pay the same for the software if you use our link or if you don't. So help me out and use it. Thanks a lot. Okay, once you have your accounts, Log in and find the basic code for the scraper on our blog at hartmut.io slash how to build an email extractor with no code. The link again is in the description. Go there and copy the code and paste it into your N8N. Hardest part is done. The only thing you need to do now before you can start scraping is to connect your Google Sheet with N8N. To do that, you need to open credentials and at select credentials, click create new. Next, you need to fill in your client ID and your client secret. To get these, you need to create a Google account. Go to cloud.google.com and create an account if you don't have one already. Once that's done, click on the hamburger menu on the top left and go to APIs and services and choose credentials. On the next screen, click on Create Credentials and select OAuth Client ID. If you never used this feature before, you need to configure your consent screen first. So click on a button to do that. In this case, it is for internal use. So choose internal and click Create. Give it a name, choose your email address for the field User Support Email 
scroll to the bottom and put in your email address in the email address field for developer information. Now hit save and continue. Next, you need to choose the scopes. We don't need that, so simply click continue. Okay, great. Now we can add our credentials. Go to credentials on the left menu and click once again, create credentials. Now choose OAuth client ID from the top menu. Choose web application for application type, give it a name and click the plus add URLs button in the authorized redirect URL section. Now switch back to your N8N tab and copy the OAuth redirect URL by clicking on it. Head back to the Cloud Console tab and paste the URL into the field. Now click Create and voila, here are your credentials. Copy your client ID into client ID in N8N and the client secret as well. To finish, click the Sign in with Google button and sign in. Now we need to allow our app to use Google Sheets. To do that, we need to activate the Google Sheets API in Cloud Console. Let's go back to our Cloud Console and click Enabled API and Services. Click the button on the top which says Enable APIs and Services and search for Google Sheets. Click on it and enable it. Super! After that, you can close the Google Console. Okay. The last thing before we can start scraping is a fresh Google Sheet. Go again to a blog post and click the link to copy the email scraper Google Sheet. Once open, you need to create a copy to use it. Once you copy the Google Sheet, copy the ID of your sheet from the URL in the browser address bar, switch back to the N8N tab and paste it into the parameters node in the field Google Sheets ID. Last thing to do is to copy your domain list of the domains you want to scrape and paste them into your Google Sheet in the domains column of the domains table. Nicey! Okay, before we go and test everything, I want to ask you for two things. First, like this video and second, subscribe to my channel. This helps me to make more of these videos and shows if any of you people is actually interested in tutorials like these. So thank you very much. Okay, the moment of truth is here. To actually scrape your first list, put in a URL you want to scrape. By default, we look for privacy policy. This makes sense because most of people have their email addresses there. But of course, you can look at different other pages as well, like contact or imprint or toss or terms of service and so on. And of course, you can enhance this scraper and loop through the different URLs one after the other. So click save to save your credentials and the Google Sheets ID and then hit execute workflow. Okay, now we can see NLM goes through the websites and stores every email address it finds in your Google Sheets inside the scraped table. When it's completed, simply change the permalink inside the parameter node and run it again. Okay, before you leave, like this video and answer the question, what would you like to see in the next video in the comments below and watch this video next.